Barshins is brought to you by our awesome patrons. Thanks for supporting the channel. Barshins! 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 All right. All right. How's it going? Not so bad, thank you. I'm a bit hyper. I'm warning you ahead of this one. Or oh, uh, what have you been eating the sugars? I just necked a mocha. I'm worried. And I had a drink. This guy. Who is this guy? Please introduce yourself to the world at large. I am this guy. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was that guy. Something. Oh, you've got the wrong one again. Oh, no, sorry. Just Don't worry, you'll do. Just give us your name. Okay, <laughs> fine. My name is Dave, and I'm a community manager on YouTube. Oh. Or rather, I manage communities not for YouTube, but for people on YouTube. I'm I with you. always get that wrong. I love that. Yeah. Manage the community. I just let yeah. my community do what they want. Yeah. They mostly live in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're gnomes. <laughs> oh. Keemstar. <laughs> yeah. You've just got 10,000 Keemstars in your back garden. Awesome. Oh, my God. That'd be an image, wouldn't it? <laughs> so could you give us a, a summary to your community manager? Your name's Dave Johnson? Yep. yep. The, oh. Dave the Rock Johnson. Dave the Rock. <laughs> That's what I want to... I'm imagining identities that. already. This is going really well. Yeah. The Rock yeah. Johnson. Off camera, we were like, Dave, David, D-Man, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Which, uh, yeah, apparently I'm a bounty hunter and a professional wrestler in my spare time. So <laughs> that's quite, that's see how this goes. You fit in the community management. Christ. <laughs> I don't. But yeah, I just managed for a couple of uh, channels. We're about 500,000 subs each. Nice. It's, it's a lot of just looking at words. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't make it really exciting, but it is especially like approving YouTube comments and a lot get held for review and there's about 2,000 a week per channel. Wow. Good Lord. So, you know, and it's just somebody puts the slightly wrong and YouTube thinks it's a swear word and holds it back instead of some idiot like me has got to just read through everything. Wow. Yeah, I get that when I put a spotted dick recipe up. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. So where are you from? Uh, I'm from Hull, Hull, northeast of England, yeah. I've never been to Hull. You're not missing much. No. It's a part of a boat as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's the outer shell of a boat. That's true. Yeah. That's where I live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't live in a hole. I not live in on a, a hole, yeah. I just <laughs> attach myself to random vessels that find them. Literally yeah. live at sea. Just, yeah, the, yeah, the, the Coast Guard aren't very happy with me, but it's, <laughs> it's fine. Bloody hell, there he goes again. Yeah. <laughs> just like a snail. Like, yeah. This was my internet. Oh, look at that boy. No, not that boy. That, that, never mind. <laughs> 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 So you travelled down from Hull this morning? Uh, uh, yes. That yeah. is it's, commitment. Yeah, it's about four hours. Wow. Ooh. But it's fine. I'm kind of used to travelling anyway because I like to do a lot of travelling to meet people. Because again, community focus, you tend to meet a lot of different people and I try to travel and meet as many people as I can. Yeah. Well, both from those communities and others because I'm involved with about six in total. Wow. And it's yeah, it can be a headache on top of a full-time yeah. job in retail, which is boring and not really interesting enough for this podcast. What does the shop sell? Colanders, pans, <laughs> perhaps. Barry's right, yeah, right yeah. in here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's Got more things actually. Um, <laughs> but I, found that, yeah. Yeah, I found out the other day about communities. These people, these using these are actually real people. Really? Yeah. I can't believe it. Did you think they were robots? Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's weird. It's a funny word to say it's real so people because a lot of people in these communities are not themselves. Right. Yeah. You find that like, in managing communities, a lot of people have a username and they tend to have a separate persona online yes. as they do in real life, I yeah. guess you can call it. It used to be called Baz69 on my yeah. AOL Messenger. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually it's a 14-year-old nice. yeah. girl yeah. called yeah. Fiona or exactly. something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and you find that, I don't want to say old school because that's a really cringy term, but the people who've been online longer tend not just put themselves out there more, mm. whereas the newer generation all tend to hide behind these personas, I suppose you could call them. Yeah. And it, Makes like this is judging going. things really difficult sometimes. Yeah, yeah I did think. I think we might yeah. get quite into some meat on this. We're going to do a shark article mm. first. That's all right. Yes, but definitely. I think you've probably got some interesting experiences. I mean, I, on, on the community side for me, mm. I just tend to have some filters in place, and I don't really ever. If it's one of those words, I'm like, well, that's not a nice person. But like, <laughs> if you're seeing these comments, you've probably got some interesting uh, yeah, output on that. It's definitely worth having community. I mean, I would say that obviously because <laughs> 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 no, if you need one no, anyway, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, we'll delve into that. Yeah. But we'll have a shark call, which uh, yes. is Let's another community first. altogether. <laughs> Shartacle. Ship Shartacle from Mail Online. Oh, good. The Man Online. My new Man Online face. That is a film. If it was in the paper, that would be a name of a movie. Mail Online. 
Yeah. Hey, mate, Ellie, he's a man. He's a man. He's online. He's got an internet connection. Probably going to look at a website or something. <laughs> yeah. He's mail online. When his connection goes down, horror yeah. begins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Assassin online. Like, yeah, he's, a, he's available. He can only, that's the plot. What would mail online be? He's like an online spy. And that's, that's his thing. If you need him, you go online and you order him. And then he'll just say, like a private detective, or something. yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, just give him a call. Also, really yeah. <laughs> yeah. also, this phone number. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Oh, you know it, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Actually, <laughs> yeah. 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 mail on Sunday. Yeah. It's very specific. <laughs> just one day of the week. <laughs> it's very just religious. <laughs> yeah. 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 Female, uh, yeah, Monday to Saturday. Mail on Sunday. So it's our favourite superhero, Florida Man, has oh, returned. I was hoping for one of these. Yeah. Yes. Florida Man threatens to destroy a town with his army of turtles, warning police they should never have fucked with a saint as he's arrested for shouting obscenities in the street. That's a hell what of a headline. That? That's so much going on. It's like a paella of, or yeah. a jambalaya of content. Yeah. Don't tell, you'll get yelled at again. Yeah. <laughs> There's some bullet points here. Oh, I love those. Thomas Devaney Lane, 61, was arrested on Sunday in Indy Atlantic, Florida. <laughs> Police say they received seven calls alleging Lane was disturbing the peace. <laughs> Lane reportedly warned officers that his turtle army will destroy everyone. <laughs> Is he Krang or something? Or is he yes, Shredder? No, Shredder. Splinter. Yes, Splinter. That was Splinter. The, it hasn't what mentioned a if he's name, a giant Splinter. rat. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Learned some Kung Fu Splinter now. should be the bad guy's name, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, his Shredder's not really nice either. No. Well, yeah, but it does very useful. If you don't want anyone seeing your sensitive documents, it's That's useful. true. Yeah. Splinter is not a good thing. Maybe he's called Shredder because he's so good on his skateboard. Yes. He's was that Shreds. Casey Jones? Yeah. I don't know, though. If you have a mentor called Shred and your enemy is the Splinter, I can imagine it's not going to be very compelling television. Yeah. Everybody has to begin with S and end with R. Yeah. That's the thing. How did you get rid of your enemy Splinter? Oh, I just got him out with some tweezers. <laughs> That's his plan really. to infect yeah. the world with yeah. small, annoying splinters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bebop and Rocksteady on Gardening League. Yeah. <laughs> kind of chilling out. <laughs> I love this next bullet point. He was escorted to the police station and banged on the glass before leaving. <laughs> do, do they have to meet a certain number of bullet points or something? What? Lane was arrested for a second time that day, warning, you'll see what happens in an hour, before making multiple claims that his turtle army would avenge him. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah. what, what happened in the first place then? Why did this all come about? Well, uh, the police received multiple calls on a Sunday afternoon right. uh, regarding Thomas Devaney Lane, 61, disturbing the peace at several businesses, including Starbucks... Cafe Surfinista and Sassy Granny Smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> what a name. Sassy Granny. It's a holiday destination for people you... who've lost their shoes. <laughs> yeah. Early call back now. Like, <laughs> sassy Granny Smoothies. Would you like a smoothie? No. What if it was served to you by a Sassy Granny? <laughs> Give me three. Yeah, all of them. Oh. Sassy Granny, what God. a name. So this is apparently all along the Wavecrest Avenue boardwalk in Indy Atlantic. It's an amazing name. Okay. Upon his arrest, Lane is said to have warned officers that his turtle army will destroy everyone <laughs> and wreak havoc on the local area as revenge for his apprehension. I love that. Like, so it's like an army of trained turtles in his mind. When really they're just... Does he, do they even exist? Probably not. <laughs> not to be fair. It's incredibly hard to read this. It's just constantly repeating the same thing, like there's something wrong with you and you uh, can't understand it. Yeah. Um, You've got to scroll down. It helps. <laughs> yeah. as, pol <laughs> as police approached him for the second time, Lane dialed 911 and allegedly told the operator that the responding officers needed to leave now or you will be sorry you fucked with the saints. <laughs> <laughs> so he's now calling himself the saint. The saint. The turtle Look, he's a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> the godfather of the turtles. The saint and the turtles is like a, yeah, it's another the band name, isn't it? The snappiest occupation you could think of. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Police say he continued to yell indecencies at passers-by during the ensuing struggle and warned officers several times of the violence his turtle army would impact <laughs> upon them. Lane was arrested for disturbing the peace, resisting arrest without violence and misusing 911. He was booked into the Bar Brevard County Jail and later released on bail. Wow. And that's the story. They released That's that, basic. Yeah, that shows a lot of compassion, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just putting back out. It's fine. His turtles will look after him. Yeah. Um, we so don't know if the turtles exist. Yeah, trained turtles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. House help turtles. Yeah. They're, they're How very trained are they? I'm, I'm not entirely convinced by his no. claims of a turtle army. Yeah. I mean, plus turtles. 
Weird, I know. I'd, yeah. I'd ask what's in the water in Florida, but I think we know turtles. <laughs> That's yeah. the whole point. Yeah. 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 Not, not the paciest animal, is it? Really? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> attack yeah. my army. It's the tortoise in, in the hair, though, isn't it? Once yeah. they get there, they're going to do the job. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just very delicate, you know? like a sloth. Just very slow yeah. global domination. Yeah. Just give me two weeks and they will they will avenge me. Yeah. So they're they're going to fuck you right up, yeah. but it's going to take a while, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need six lettuces, all right? And yeah. then they'll be all... <laughs> Let's but... say that won't be appearing in phase four of Marvel's new films. Wow. <laughs> the same the thing. Turtle master. <laughs> oh, wow. Batman's very worst enemy. Yeah. That, I would watch Spider-Man it. Spider-Man and the Saints. There's been so worse films. Yeah. 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 So do we know the turtles don't exist then? Just, I no. don't know. He's well, they may exist, but I don't actually think he has much control over them. I would have thought. Yeah. Just turns up with a goldfish instead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what could they end up with? Go forth, my unholy army of the night. <laughs> wow. I love it. it. We're in actuality. Come probably. on. Yeah. <laughs> Has trouble controlling them. A reptile dysfunction. I just, yeah. Oh. I just had to. I've been shaking my head at myself there. I'm sorry. A reptile. That's amazing. A reptile. I want that on a t-shirt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Shall we move on? Or... Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. Come on, you need to do one. <laughs> oh, do I have to, Barry? Turtles one, maybe? Oh, uh, uh, God. Um, no. Turtles, turtle. The more you think of them, the worse they are. Reptile, so. yeah. Rep uh, um, water, fish. Fa-fa. It's just like foaming at the mouth. fa ta I hope we were saying enough words and we're not to come up with a pun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're good bathroom salesmen because they're reptiles. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Come on, guys. That's good. Just like that really, word, really shit. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. It's the only oh. word I can think of that works with anything. That, that's apart from shell, but... So yeah. from reptiles to shell. You worked in the garage, is that right? Uh, I do, yes. Is it shell? In, no. Oh, that would be amazing. No, it would have uh, been... So that's your actual but, uh, job, full, like your that main is full bread time, and butter? Yes. Okay. Uh, back to bread as well. Excellent. <laughs> Call back to an earlier episode. Yeah. Yes. And then obviously the YouTube thing is another full-time job on top of that. Wow. So you have two so, full-time jobs? Yes, essentially. Blimey. I'm not sure I'm still alive either, but I'm, I'm <laughs> wor working Just running on, on the adrenaline. Yes. That and double espressos. So you work awesome. in a petrol station mm -hmm. and you must have some drive-off surely or something like that. I've, oh. I've, I've some, have you ever done it? You don't drive, do you? I, uh, have you ever <laughs> stolen a car and driven hot petrol? after filling up? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, Barry. Just filling no. it into nothing. I don't own a car. Just yeah. spraying it on the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've had a little bit of a, like, a moment where I've been like, yeah, pull up, fill it up, and looking at the guy in there. Like, you know you can pay at the checkout now, anyway, at the yes. pump. But yeah. I'm looking in there. Is he looking at it? Just well, I'm sure they must have cameras and things. That just turn a lot of you. cameras, yeah. yeah. But it still happens, doesn't it? It, it does, but it gets prosecuted like 97% of the time. Oh, so really? it's, Ooh, yeah. Don't try it, Barry. Yeah. But you could be that 3%. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> hashtag spot. I mean, the thing is, Barry Lewis is now going to be on every wall inside every <laughs> petrol station in the country. Yeah. Well, as I just get the but, moment, I just fill it up. I'm like, nobody's going to see me. And just get back except in. Except all <laughs> these cameras yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Audio recording equipment and everything. Yeah. You must have some yeah. real fun with the, the mic in the, in the kiosk. Uh, Pump number four, please. That's fell up faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you have to be restrained, but the problem is you don't turn the microphone off oh, after really? doing it, so you end up like going silly bastard. <laughs> well, of course, it's echoing out to fourteen other people on yeah, the forecourt. Yeah, yeah. Who is you talking to? Uh, my coworker. Oh wow! Just round the back. I'm on my own, but I'm just pretending there's somebody else there at the moment. Yeah, calling yeah. everyone bastards. But uh, <laughs> you need to press yeah. the button when you actually want to say something. Oh, I muted it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's bad because obviously we shouldn't do it. Try to be professional, but occasionally you do slip. Yeah. But it's it's some of the things you see. It's not so much the criminal element. It's the clueless element of it. Like mm. people trying to fill up milk bottles and things like that with petrol because <laughs> they think, I'm not talking glass. That's milk a Molotov cocktail, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's possibly sure. they're trying to <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... commit arson somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, people will walk up with those sort of plastic milk bottles and try and fill them up before we realize what's going on. Luckily, you know, we tend to catch them beforehand because otherwise it'll petrol just eat straight through the plastic in. Would it really? Wow. Yeah. It would eventually, oh, right. yeah. Um, it, it wouldn't at first. They'd probably get it home before it just sort of combusts. But wow. Oof. Yeah. Bloody hell. Is yes. that the weirdest thing we've ever seen? They cans for, for a reason. Yes. Crikey. Yeah. Oh, weird. No, there's, there's plenty of things like... A shoe? One old lady. Um, yeah, we've had shoes <laughs> left. Have you ever seen yeah, a shoe? <laughs> That's a whole different conversation, yeah. What? This thing called we, a shoe. We sometimes kind of wear them. Yeah. <laughs> 
They don't like yeah. it if you don't wear shoes. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, there was an old lady once, bless her, she hadn't really been driving, I don't think. She got out of a car, picked up the pump, but she hadn't put a handbrake on, so her car just rolled oh. away. Oh, nice. So then she started pumping the petrol into thin air. <laughs> So she's pouring it on the floor, and it was about it's like doing up. a Beyonce music video, spraying <laughs> <laughs> it everywhere. That explains the fire afterwards. Yeah, but, fire. Yeah, no, oh. <laughs> not that far. Nothing's combusted just yet. Uh, okay. but I'm worried to go back now. <laughs> Blimey! But that's that shows an astonishing lack of being in the present moment when yeah. your car the is gone. gone. You're just like, it will still make it in if I spray it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I Come mean, on, dear. The only saving grace was it was coming towards me. Where I was stood inside the kiosk, looking at his car rolling very slowly towards me. But luckily, there's a bit of a dip, and then it goes back up again to the petrol station. So of course, the car got stuck in the dip uh, instead. Go is... back and go back to it. Yes, like, yeah. she... <laughs> straight back in. <laughs> and she hadn't realised, and she blamed us for the petrol on the floor. Like, how do I get the refund back? You, you don't really blame me. Yeah, it. It's. I don't know what it is about motorists when they fill up. There's two things. Firstly, they become clueless and very angry as well. Yeah, like. You get tutting and people yelling at you if you don't put the pump on, even though it's there. They have to press a button first. Oh, is that, there's, I there's that a that one was. button system that people can't get their head around. Yeah, I've always it's, wondered that one. Yeah. I'm going like that. I'm looking. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, it'd be. <laughs> press it. I'd understand <laughs> if there was like an airline console with about 25 different buttons. Yeah. But there's literally one button that says "press me," and people <laughs> apparently who've been driving for 25 years don't know how to press that one thing. So they start yelling at you, and if they're queuing for more than 20 seconds, you get yelled at. Because have, they've got several places to be. and Do you have mm. a button that you have to press your end to go, yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, because that's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm seeing I'm certain not like... In with it. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, we do have to authorise it or else more of those old lady things would happen. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. And, yeah. Has ever been ones when you've been like, nah. <laughs> I ain't pressing it for real. <laughs> it's going to come No in. petrol for you, son. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the more frail you are, the less chance you have of filling up. <laughs> but... It's no it's stupid decisions like, for instance, people breaking down. It happens a lot for some reason. And they try and jump the cars on the forecourt, which means attaching a battery pack and sparking <laughs> it, where there's a lot of fumes in the air. There's, there's, yeah. there's a lot of stupidity there. Lighting a cigarette whilst they're waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah talking the on the phone, smoking a cigarette, not actually controlling the pump. You know, they, they oh, do all kind of stupid. Yes. Bloody wow. Hell. Yeah, and then you get people coming yelling at you. It's not really a thing. You being on your phone is fine. Well, it's not. It's a part one. It's the rules. If you're on the forecourt, you've got to follow the rules of the place you are. And secondly, I don't want to blow up. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's not, yeah. I've Tough got day another today. shift to go for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was work. Well, I blew up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I mean, I got home a lot faster. <laughs> I just kind of went. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Don't know if I'll be in tomorrow or not. Really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a bit sore. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I just get home a hell of a lot quicker by <laughs> air. Just flying across yeah. the room and. Probably hit the that. Saint. <laughs> yeah. Flock of turtles following you, though. The saint? Yeah, the man. That's what he wanted to be called, the saint, wasn't it? Oh, I yeah. see. Florida man. One, yeah. So he just F decided to come to North East England to invade my petrol station yes. as I blow up. That's, yeah. That's He's listening good. to Flow Rider. That's a cheese, it, yeah. cheese board joke, isn't it? Uh, or Flow Rider? Yeah. From Chepstow. So it, it's like lighting a cigarette and mobile phone. Uh, is that yeah. the top two? That That's the top two, yeah. And, and it's that just people not generally paying attention. Yeah. I do so, want to do a drive-off one day, though. And then come back. I once did a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> hey, guys, I'd like to commit a crime one day. Yeah, yes. just, just once, please. I just need to make a phone call after this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just want, like, just for, like, a minute and then just drive around and go, Sorry, and then pay. I did do a scavenger hunt with my friends once. Have you ever done that, where you go out and, like, right, we've got a list steel of... Steel petrol? No, no, well, it was steel things. Sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh, Why? I've started that. Is this where it starts <laughs> small with a shoe and ends up with, like, a bank heist yeah, or something? Yeah, we, we had, like, two <laughs> teams, and we were, like, bored, and we were, like, I would give each other a shopping list, and it was, like, a gnome, a street sign, and one of them was to go and get a receipt for one pence of petrol. Oh. So we literally went and did that. We went to a pump and then literally went, ah. <laughs> literally fired one pence. Ah. That was the face. And I had to go in and go, can I pay for this? And he's like, oh, no, it's cool. Like, and I like, oh, no, I need a receipt. And Because that was the scavenger oh. hunt. So I went and got one piece worth of diesel. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Three Did you ever anything like that? No. <laughs> Surprisingly. Because well, there is a yeah. minimum amount, isn't there? There is. It's supposed to be like two litres or something, but yeah. the price of petrol now, you wouldn't get a penny. It'd go straight to like 20 pence or something the yeah. second you press the, yeah. I got a beauty of a garden gnome that night as well. The most extravagant would get more points for that. So I found this blooming gr hawk. It was huge, and but, it only so, just fitted in my friend's boots. Actually, uh, yeah, it's not really a real hawk. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> I mean, you better it, take that back. Was it actually quite nice? <laughs> was it actually a gnome then? 
well, like a garden ornament. Sorry, yeah. Oh, well, so, yeah, so very long yeah, definition. Uh, well, my friends had like okay. a like a standard generic gnome, and we went past his house, and crikey, he loved his garden ornaments wherever he was. I just leapt over his fence and just took this bloody good hawk. It was amazing. Put it back. The point um, in the past. Tense, he loved it. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's flown away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It came back. Well, he turned back at like one a.m. And we all foraged and showed what we got. And someone had a road si- a road work sign, and someone had some temporary traffic lights as well. <laughs> like it was pretty cool. But we put it all back. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, did Barry. Yeah. Yes. Put it all back yeah. on eBay. Yeah. Yes. If anyone gets a hawk ornament for me and the family for Christmas, then you know, <laughs> I what it feel was. like the viewers watching Barshins every week start to develop some sort of crime profile. For <laughs> yeah, it gets yeah, worse yeah. and worse every week. Florida man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered. You Huge are the saints. Effort, mate. That would yeah. make sense. Wow. Sending your army of turtles to steal gnomes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love just really slowly on their back. Yeah, you'll get them in eight to ten weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. you never did scavenger hunt or anything like that. Then just no, not no, not, not an illegal one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't no. see no maybe. theft. Generally, yeah, yeah. Yes. I've yeah. done a geocache thing a few yeah, times. Yeah, geocache. Okay, yeah. That's but pretty, pretty not, legal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. stolen anything. No, no me neither. I wouldn't. Like, <laughs> edit and post. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just confess the crime. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Well done. Yeah. Glad yeah. to witness it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, be the witness in your trial. <laughs> yeah. So you're a YouTube community manager. How did you even get into that? Oh, it's a long, complicated story. Basically, <laughs> got a lot of time. Yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, that's all right. Guys. I mean, we did yeah. lose some time. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, basically, I just joined a social media site. Uh, which was set up by the Vlog Brothers, which is Hank and John Green, who are known as like one of the original sort of vlogging YouTubers. Yeah. They set up kind of a website for their fan base, and I just joined that randomly one day and kind of worked my way up somehow. Started off as like a chat moderator, then a chat in charge of the full chat, and then before I was in charge of the website, and there's about 110,000 people on it. And then from there, we created a, like a YouTube channel, did like a worldwide collaboration vlogging channel. Thing. Oh, cool. So we wound up with about 110 people from 12 countries or something involved with it. So through that, I started meeting other people and certain other people. And eventually I got to work with NerdSync, which is a comic book YouTube channel, which looks at the law and history of comic books and socioeconomic stuff, which is good because I'm not into comic books, which helps me on the uh, community side when people are talking about Marvel. I'm like, cool. You didn't swear, approved. Right, okay. You know, that's just part of the process. Yeah, and then I just sort of get to meet more people from there because obviously it's quite a good thing to have quite a well-known channel behind you and then so you start working with others. Yeah. So, so when you moderate a comment, is it, it's not just rude words then? Is it, it sounds like they're all censored first and then you approve them or something? Not, no, not every YouTube yeah. comment obviously is, depending on your whitelist and blacklist. So yeah. If you've put like, the one of the channels I work for has a blacklist like the size of the Bible. Really? Which every word you could possibly perceive as an insult or a, a slur or something is in that. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, it flags up every time a word like the comes up. Oh, really? So you have to end up just going through all these comments. <laughs> Good video. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was, I was doing some just before the filming, actually, and I realized it was like 1.8 thousand. So it's like 1,800 comments to review, and it wasn't there a week ago. <laughs> wow. So, and obviously that's just one channel on top of another one. And also run like uh, Discord, if you use Discord, that much yeah. Discord, yeah. What is Discord? It's like a sort of combined chat room and voice chat mm. thing. Kind of like, yeah, Reddit with an instant messenger feel. Uh, so I think yeah. it's a bit, it was made for gaming originally, yeah. I think, for gamers to sort of get together and arrange stuff. And it's just sort of exploded from there. All right. So I run one of those, which is... There's only about a thousand people in it, but it takes like four hours of admin a day. So, Whoa! Yeah, and that's just stuff like approving new members and looking at things people are complaining about, and especially when moderators are complaining about each other, which Ooh. is always good. So you're also running a team or a family or misfits or something. But that's a paid yeah. job for you now as well. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't pay as much as I like, right. but it's still. That's why I'm still having to work with old ladies putting petrol on the floor <laughs> it's but, a real uh, contrast yeah <laughs> yes you yeah i mean that. youtube is the side that i really love doing and i would like to do more of yeah but it doesn't it's very hard to get a job that is pays enough to pay all of the bills nowadays especially in a kind of a niche role like a community manager because a lot of especially a lot of bigger channels now we're finding it hard with the apocalypse and everything which mm. you probably have experience with that they can't afford to pay someone just to handle one side of it they have to do it all themselves so i'm kind of lucky where i am i suppose yeah. Do you do that much community management? On yours None or whatsoever. No. I have to do it all myself, so I just haven't looked at comments for eight years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuart and I, uh, yeah, we, yeah. You, you say we hardly comments reply, you know, take 
rough and the smooth, isn't it? It is what it is with a comment. And I've, I have a little bit of a blacklist that I put up. Yeah. Um, but... I've blacklisted the words A, the, and and. <laughs> and it's, I found it's really Ashens cut down. As well, yeah. Yes, yeah. Ashens, your name. Video. <laughs> um, every Tats. language. Brown sofa. <laughs> you could probably just go a whole yeah. lot. Every language, yeah. every word is yes. now banned. So are you, unless you're yeah. making your own language, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's I'm surprised that a number of people don't have more community because engagement is a big thing on YouTube now. That's one thing to try and roll out. You know, you've got to engage mm. with your public and your fans as much as you can, but it's difficult when you're on your own doing it, obviously. But I think leaving your comment section for eight years is bordering on uh, scary. Mm. Like, it's I've, worked very well for me. <laughs> I, I haven't thought about it and I don't yeah. plan to in the future. So <laughs> yeah. I feel this has worked right. well. So do you yeah. reply for them as well? Sometimes, yeah. Right, okay. I mean, it's the thing is, being behind the scenes as well, not everyone knows who you are. So if you yeah. start randomly tweeting and commenting on their channel and support, <laughs> oh, I'm Dave, community manager, a lot of people are going to think, who the fuck's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, so it's not really... So, yeah, because you put, in my opinion, they'll be like, what the... F yeah, exactly. And then the YouTubers in the middle <laughs> yeah. of on a TV studio and said, oh, well, you said this last week on your comment section. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. I'm also not British, but... <laughs> yes. Apparently, yeah. Oh, you're vegan now? <laughs> like, Apparently. What the... Yeah. Wow. You're like turtles all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> but... Have you ever had some really bad stuff like that you've like you had to get the police involved or anything like that? Uh, we've, I mean, I've experienced some pretty... I mean, I would like... say this is YouTube, Barry, so there yeah, is a lot, yeah. but I've never actually had to call the police myself. Yeah. There's been occasions where it's sort of more of the Discord side where people have either said they were going to kill themselves. Really? Or, yeah, because these... Communities are brilliant, but sometimes you attract people who maybe have nowhere to go, sort of thing. Right, you know, a right. bit of a social outcast, and Funny. so they join this place to get attention. And it, it's trying to find them help sometimes. Yeah, and you have your own top. YouTube channel then. Or? Uh, I used to. I don't really have any more. You could do like a channel just... on community management. And be like, good comment, bad, bad comment, comment. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Smile. Dude, do not call someone a wanker. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Is there any, it's like a, any common words that you come up there like that's not a, you keep getting filtered or something like that? That depends on the uh, YouTuber, to be honest. Right. Because obviously, depending on the physical profile of a person, they may not want certain things outlined. Um, I'm just trying to give examples. And you've said you mm. met Hank and Tom Green. Where was it, Tom? John? Uh, John Green. John Green. Yeah. Tom Green. Not Tom Green. <laughs> it's Tom Green. <laughs> Freddie got fingered. No. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, <laughs> chicken. Didn't know they did YouTube. Well, yeah. Didn't they do the um, Serial Time channel? Didn't they start that up? They put some funding yeah, into that? Yeah, they put some money into that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, they yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah they funded quite a lot of things over the years. Yeah. So, like Crash Course and sort yeah. of things like that. There was actually behind... Page, well, it's not Patreon. They have a company called Subbable, which works similar to Patreon. Yeah, I've heard. Oh. But then Patreon bought them out and obviously wow. became the mammoth it is today. And they do a merch thing as well. Yeah, how, sure. how do we get some of their money? <laughs> <laughs> how do we get some of this green green? How do the we, green uh, giant. The yeah, green green. They just so, pay you in yeah, sweet yeah. corn. Have you, have you <laughs> met them then? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've met Hank a few times. Okay, uh, he's. I mean, they started VidCon as well. Oh, they created VidCon. They were, didn't they? They were two of the people That's behind right. VidCon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've met Hank a few times. John, I've not met yet. Right. Uh, but Hank is a very nice guy. Yeah. Very, very busy though. Right. And he forgets people too. There was one occasion where I just, I was in the front row of a talk. He was doing a VidCon, and he was staring at me for two full minutes while talking. And I couldn't work out. My mind. Yeah. No, I mean, no. no, yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I was starting to think that way. Yeah, like either I've done something horrible to his cat. Yeah. Or he's, I don't know, constipated or something. Yeah, right. And eventually, it's my mind like, I know you. He's doing like, that during the chat, like. Yeah, they come over and said, oh, yeah, Aaron B, you ran so and so website. Like, yeah, Hank, we met yesterday. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Which wow. I don't take personally because, like I say, he's that he busy. Probably especially probably does an awful lot of people. Yeah, uh, VidCon is something that pff, I imagine shreds his nerves every single year, especially now he's not directly involved. He doesn't own it anymore. Ah, uh, right. A massive company took over it, but he's still heavily featured and everything, so he's still behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Have and you ever been to a VidCon then? Or? VidCon, yeah, I've done a few. Uh, VidCon London this year. Yeah. And there was a couple in LA the last three years. Yeah. Went as industry level and, well. I went to one of, um, out, is it Anaheim? Was it? Anaheim, yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. Like, it's like, you have like fangirls on floor one and then on the, 
on the Thursday and the Friday, it was like a bit more serious, sort of like logistics of channels and stuff. But yes, then, and then downstairs, top I mean, I was getting mobbed. It was crazy. Yeah, it's, horrible. Yeah. It's, horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. I mean, yeah. it, it's it's good if you're on the top two level, especially on the top level, because I yeah. found on the middle level, it's called the creator level, which is for people with up and coming channels who can't yeah. afford the industry standard of about seven hundred pounds a ticket. Which it was a lot of money. Insane. Yeah, yeah, and but they tend to. I think what I coined the Johnny Bravo approach to YouTube. Whereas I'm familiar with the cartoon Johnny Bravo, Ooh, yeah. basically people walk up to you with cards and go, "This is my channel, subscribe." It's like, yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, I remember. You know? Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, and then on the top level, there was like these people doing presentations, like analytics, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you laugh, but that's my, very accurate. Merch. Right, right, yeah, right, right. pretty much. There were some that were like really useful, and it was, I was just like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I came all the way to America for this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was, um, there was one year they always do like a big wrap up talk at the end on one of the main stages, mm. and Matt Pat. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Oh, yeah. game theory. Yeah. yeah, he basically came on and just said the opposite of what an official from YouTube had said previously. <laughs> she was like, oh, to do this, do this, and do this to make your channel bigger. He went, he came out and went, no, do this, this, this. So if they're contradicting themselves on the stage, I don't think anyone really knows how YouTube works. Yeah. So, no, that's the weakness, isn't have it? Have you ever yeah. been to one of those events? Or? I never have. No, no not, certainly not one of the big ones. Because there's a Summer in the City, which was literally started in a park, and that's grown to something Yeah, Summer in the City is a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've Some, never done that either, actually. So you've been a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah, it's kind of like a Faulty Towers version of VidCon. <laughs> that is a very really accurate statement. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right. It's like very British. Don't Isn't mention nice? the war barrier. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you get less like, obviously, you get more British-focused YouTubers there as opposed to yeah. VidCon, which even VidCon London was mostly American and Australian, which seems a bit odd to me when there's about 2,000 British YouTubers that could have used. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Company included, obviously. But... Yeah, somewhere in the city, I think, is scarier for fans. Yes, I think it's, yeah. I've, I've granted, I've only been once, but it was a good four years ago. And you just stand there, and because I had like an industry ticket, just watching these like 3,000 fangirls, there was just a pure mob of women, young women, you know, young girls. <laughs> so even. much women. Yeah, <laughs> so much women, much, not a little time. No, oh, they're just. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the cringiest thing. So <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. It's, uh, I stole a hawk. It's fine. <laughs> Edit that bit out. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> for the second time in this episode, yeah, I just seeing them all charging towards a minute. I think. I yeah. feel sorry for any YouTuber who has It's less secure than that. the VidCon one. The VidCon one felt very... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. They've got like three security men on every door. Yeah. You can't go up an escalator without showing three different forms of identification and That's a badge it. and your birth certificate and your mother's maiden name. Oh, and yeah. Letter of endorsement kind of from the Pope. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Stuff, yeah. yeah, And we all know he's hard to get hold of these days. So, <laughs> <laughs> so before your uh, current job at uh, Petrol Station, have you had any other interesting jobs or anything like that? Uh, not interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, just other retail jobs similar to previous guest yeah yeah like things like selling suits to people in oh really House of fraser and things like that and working for a really popular t- tv show oh tv show it felt like a tv show it wasn't <laughs> it was a clothing shop i'm just my brain how does a clothing shop feel like a tv show the characters probably oh, really? yeah, yeah. The oh, customers. Awesome. oh i mean especially selling suits it was like low-end suits obviously quite cheap off the rack stuff and yeah. you'd have people coming in being snobby about it and but then in the same hand they're saying, Well, that's too expensive. Oh right. So, you, know, oh. you know, all these people rubbing it and going, Oh, that feels really cheap. I have it for Polyester, hundred yeah, percent. Basically what most of them <laughs> wear, to be fair. But it's like I don't see how you can critique something and then immediately want half off because you want one badly. It's, right. Um, yeah. It's blast retail. It's a whole horrible yeah. side of working. Did you have to measure the suit and all that as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of things. Obviously, with off the peg stuff, you don't have to really go into that much detail. Right. You basically just measure the shoulder blades and go, yeah, that one. Yeah. That's yeah. It. No, no, the groin sort of. No, it's not a, like Savile Row where you get accosted <laughs> by about fifteen different yeah. people. You've with got either measures. medium or large, mate. Take it or leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as opposed to being wrapped up like a mummy and just measuring tape. Yeah. She's Colin you find. Firth coming in and it's actually the <laughs> yeah. go down into the Kingsman headquarters or whatever. Yeah. Hitting you with an umbrella every time you say something wrong. Yeah. yeah. I've got three questions that we always ask people. Mm. Uh, who's the most famous person you've ever met? Uh, well, I've got a few. I am not how familiar you are with wrestling, WWE. Well, <laughs> actually, brother, let me tell you something, I was bro. waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> I've been taking my vitamins. I've been saying my prayers. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, not at all. Okay, okay. cool. Show me a pasta restaurant never come on. <laughs> yes. I went to uh, yeah. the Royal Rumble, actually, uh, oh. in, in Boston. Yeah, years ago. Wow. And Brock Lesnar was there. I was like, oh, that wasn't too far ago. But yeah. It was after the, it's the WWE. E now. It used to yeah. be WF. Yeah. I think that was when they still had the F 
And it was like this little stump on the end to make it into the E. Until they had an argument with a bunch of pandas. Yeah, yeah. WWF, yeah. yeah. There was a t-shirt yeah. with WWF on. Have you seen it where it's like two pandas? Folding chair. <laughs> straight, yeah. chair to the back. It's yeah, amazing. It's, brilliant. it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I met the Undertaker it, in a bathroom once. What? <laughs> That's... Yeah, that my God. Like a was this my previous arrangement? Was this... uh, I mean, not that I was aware of, but apparently. <laughs> what a way to go. Yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> After meeting him for a good time. Yeah, yeah. Call yeah. bearer. On some, so. <laughs> I had been dead by three weeks by that point, I didn't realise. Oh. But yeah, it was it was at a wrestling fan convention and I was just kind of under sufferance. And I'd gone to use the bathroom not realising that I just after I'd gone in, three security personnel basically blocked the entire area off because the Undertaker, one of the biggest wrestlers of well, they have the, this generation mm. was going in to use the restroom. They don't want anybody in there in case you know they're trying to hit them with steel chairs or something. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, nobody may on, see the this. Undertaker. Yeah, piss. Exactly, you do yeah. this all the time. <laughs> Whack. But I wasn't aware, so basically, I was walking out and walked straight into him without realizing because I was looking at the floor and he's a oh. tall man. Did he choke <laughs> slam you? Um, I was expecting yeah. it. Oh, it pile drive me straight into a toilet <laughs> yeah. basin. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was more just. It was actually no, really was friendly. Match. Yeah, just I'd, off the cuff. Come on, then, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it was completely nonchalant. I think he was a little bit surprised that anyone was actually in the bathroom. I think I was just hiding in the toilet till someone uh, <laughs> chucked me out until I found Boom. him. Yeah. Wow. But it's like I didn't realize it was him until I'd gotten outside and then realized there was three security personnel blocking. I couldn't actually leave either because security personnel was keeping all these people out. There was a crowd of several hundred people just really? staring at this toilet. Just for yeah, him which, to go do his undertaking. Yeah, we, Maybe it was just a famous toilet. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole point. So, <laughs> yes, You've I'm, done in there, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, oh, I walked out. Fun, <laughs> see these 200 people all gathered in front of me. I thought, either I've suddenly become the next Messiah or something. or That could happen. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> like, let's not go there. Um, <laughs> yeah, or I'm just really bloody confused. Until I managed to sort of slip away from down one... That sounds wrong on one side. <laughs> uh, got through security personnel, and the Undertaker walked out and nodded to me. I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, that's giving a different side to the story. Like, what, st- what happened in that station? <laughs> 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 You know, Paul hmm. Bearer following him then. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> no, he just wherever he goes, it's just like. Funnily literally... enough, I think he was dead by then. <laughs> oh yeah, he yeah. did die. Didn't yeah, he? you can't tell with these. So yeah, you can't. Yeah. No. <clears throat> can't remember That's myself. A good one. But... You said you got a couple of you. Uh, you? Yeah, and the other one was Mister T. I've got a picture. <gasps> oh. Yeah, he he doesn't age well. He says on a plane. No, it uh, was just. Ah, damn it! That would have been. Up. Up. <laughs> yeah, I, I regret that now. I should have right. used that reference. Yeah. No, yeah, it was just outside of a hotel. Just, but I wouldn't say randomly because it was during the whole same wrestling WrestleMania weekend. Oh, and right. he was there because I think it was inducting him to their Hall of Fame or something. He did wrestling, didn't he, for a bit, Mister T? He did as a gimmick oh, sort of thing. I didn't yes. know that. Yeah. I think, was he a wrestler in the Rocky movie? Or? No, he's a boxer. Ah, that's mm. why it's a boxing film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> a bit weird. Would have yeah. been a spin-off yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, punch yeah, him, yeah. him up, and Stone slams him into. I'm sure Mister T was a boxer in something yeah he was a boxer rocky. in the rocky films rocky but he also Green. did stuff with that's he, it he also yeah. he yeah. also and did, he did some wrestling in the mid 80s side. with hulk hogan they were yes. a tag team right that's yeah right. That's, yeah. 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 that's amazing yeah, yeah. yeah. it that's sort of helped them cross over like that was the beginning of the crossover wwf into the mainstream or at least becoming quite big yeah, yeah. i watched all the rocky films in one day so that's, really? that's they kind of merge together <laughs> don't get too excited but they're doing an action figure of paulie's robot that tells him happy birthday Mm. Yeah, yeah just what everybody needs. One of those next. Yeah, because yeah. also yeah. Hulk Hogan was in a Rocky film. He was, yeah. Yeah, and Sylvester in... Stallone. Two. Was it Rocky huh? Two. <laughs> yes, yeah. so he was in all of them. Sylvester Stallone was in it. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's brought out uh, Creed, isn't he? That's another one. Yeah, and Creed. They've Creed got two. Dolph Lundgren back for that one. Yeah, Creed three. I've made it's up. It's going to keep going. Yeah. It's going to merge into the Expendables, Creed, isn't three, it? The Creedening or something. The Revenge of the Creedening or something like that. So you met Mr. T. Yes. I'm so... Yeah. Did he have all his bling on? Do you know what? I can't remember. Even though there is a a photo of it, I don't think he did because he was literally just turning up to his hotel been Uh. accosted by people because that's what happens when you're famous, apparently. Mm. And I've got like what I consider the goofiest picture in the world. And I realised just how ginger I am oh. from that one picture. I was going to say how ginger he was for a second. <laughs> <laughs> he was slimy. It was the role he was doing. He just dies yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> playing an Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, did he say hello or anything? Or? Yeah, yeah. We said we got a photo with him. Had a couple of words. I can't remember what was said, to be honest. It was a few years ago. But Did he yeah. tell you to respect your mother and drink your milk and all that stuff? No. We... Unless it's drugged because they're trying to get you on a plane. <laughs> if by that you mean... Hey, get up, please. So you good. <laughs> yeah, it was more f off, leave me alone kind of thing instead. But uh, no, I wonder how that kid who dressed like him from the cartoon series with him. <laughs> oh. 
I'm sorry, I think this was a really bland story. I thought it was quite interesting, but suddenly now it could have been on a plane with an animated child. Yeah. Yeah. Returning yeah, to Cluedo, like Mr. T on a plane with an animated, <laughs> with an animated child. child. Yeah. Yeah. And no necklace. But actually, I wonder if when he takes that bling off, if he just suddenly walks like that, because yeah. it's so heavy, weighing him down. Or maybe he's more like that. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's yeah. like floating. <laughs> it's, like it's like Dragon Ball Z in weighted <laughs> clothing. It's, it's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's that film um, and book? Uh, so and so is home for peculiar children. Miss Peregrine's home, home for peculiar children, children or something. It's something very similar. There's somebody yeah. in there who just floats all the time. Has been weighed <laughs> down. Oh, wait, he just does it with bling. With yeah. the guy in boots or something. So Mr. Yeah. T levitates, does it? This he's is a, basically he's yeah. saintly. Yes. Yeah. He's beloved he's the saint. by most. He's a turtle yeah. saint of Florida. Ah, the real turtle saint. Oh. <laughs> if only he was from Florida, that would have made more sense. <laughs> yeah, he could be. It could be actually. I have no idea. Mr. T Google that, yeah. and the Undertaker. I have met Haxel Jim Duggan. Nice. Did I tell you that story? I think he did. He was in a news agent, yes. if I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In a news agent. All over his wall. He was nice. Like, he was like, oh, you sucker. Like that. But Has anybody sounds... met Brutus the Barber Beefcake? Oh. No, but they no. inducted him this year in their That's Hall of Fame. Oh, what, have you got yeah. a particular no, fondness of him? Or? His name just really amuses me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's purely just, it. He just had garden shears, didn't he? Yeah. Half, most of them are dead now, aren't they? That's the thing. They're all yeah. dying. It's, it's not good for your health, this uh, wrestling. No. To say no. the least. What would your wrestling name be? Uh, the Tap Man or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. That could be misconstrued quite easily. Yeah. Though, so yeah. I think. I'll just use Stuart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> I don't know. Tim the Wrestler. <laughs> It's a wrestler today. The everyday man. It's like, as long as he's wearing a flat cap, I'm quite in there. No one can beat Tim. <laughs> the Punisher, Tim. And his finishing move is he goes to the cinema. Yeah. He just leaves. Yeah. You don't Got see him go. again for two and yeah. a half hours. Yeah. Gonna miss the trailers, come on. Yeah. Never mind count out, he just comes back in three hours and everyone else has fallen asleep. Yeah. And then spoils the ending for everyone. <laughs> Damn you, Tim. <laughs> take you to Pound man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pound man. That's yeah, that, pound, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. that could be oh, taken two ways. I yes. think that's a dangerous one, that. That's amazing. We just created a wrestling stable. Have we? No. You, you, need, you need more <laughs> than just one stable. Yeah. 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 Currently, we've got Tim, Florida man, and the pound land man, and they're both me. Yeah. So this isn't. <laughs> <laughs> just need a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they're symmetrical. <laughs> Tagging's going to be difficult, I think, when you're yeah. tagging in and out. Yeah, that's it. I suppose you could have Mr. T the Saint. What would your Turtle wrestling name Bangler. be? What would your wrestling name be? I don't know, probably the indifference. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I might win. <laughs> Turn up and no sell everything. Get yeah. jumped on, yeah. Yeah. Get on my head and go, ow. The salesman. The salesman. The salesman. <laughs> Petroleum. <laughs> oh, that's a strong name. I oh, like yeah. that. Firing gasoline into the other wrestler's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> they look like grab a snake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come up with a lot of bad guy wrestlers, I've got to say. Well, Throwing yeah. in people's eyes and spoiling uh, things. But the heels are where the fun is at. Nobody wants to face. Do oh, they? I could be the hawk. the hawk. The hawk. You just yes. steal people's guns. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just forage garden gnomes. I don't ever win, but I don't ever lose. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever turn up. <laughs> yeah. And my belt is just made in gnomes. That'd be a really heavy belt. I'm surprised yeah. your trousers. Are What's the off. rules? Oh, it's a gnome match. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like a ladder what match. Does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just collect gnomes. You right. know, when you're around, paper people view. planted a gnome in the front row, <laughs> yeah. just for you to steal. Oh wow! Um, did you say, <sighs> I hear something about gladiators on your thing. Have you met Wolf? Is that right? Uh, yeah, when I was nine years old, I oh. met Wolf. But <sighs> it's like it's that long ago that like the only thing I can remember about him is in, his intense eyes staring at you. Really? And when you're nine years old, yeah, he's trying to be engaging towards young kids. All you can think of is, wow, he's the scariest man I've ever seen. Yeah. Where, where did you meet yeah. him? He was in a panto in oh, Hull, actually. Oh, yes, he was. Yeah, no, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> was he a bad guy then? Yeah. He, I can't remember. He could have been a fairy godmother for all I know. But yeah, that's the only thing I can remember is just his eyes staring at you, staring to your very soul. <laughs> Do it's like that with me sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hens on his T-shirt. Like, ah! Um, I hadn't noticed that. I didn't is it saying Red that. Riding Hood? Was he the wolf in that? That would have been amazing. Oh, Do you know what? Now you say that, brand. it could have been. Brand. Yeah. That yeah. kind of would have made sense. Yeah. Yeah, but there's also Sutty and Sweet there as well. Was it just for balance. What an odd combination, yeah. <laughs> On his... <laughs> just, <laughs> He's operating yeah. both simultaneously. Yeah. Kind of nasty. Sutty. Look, they make you less sinister. Yeah. 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 Two small hand puppet bears and a wolf. So there would, there would have been, is right. it Matthew? The guy that used to puppet him? Matthew, Matthew Corbett. Corbett. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Was, it, was he there as well? Did you meet a him? A different human. 
uh, he was doing a meet and greet on the other side. Yeah. Well, but for some for reason, Wolf, my right? mom decided to go meet Wolf instead. Yes. <laughs> no. Do you have a favourite was, gladiator? He was the only gladiator in this country who was allowed any sort of personality, if I remember. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Yeah, I heard something about that recently. Yeah. yeah, they literally said like you can be like pretty old school and do what you want, and the others had to be straight laced and yeah, yeah and people were behind. Yeah, so like the American one was more exciting because they could actually you know have their yeah. own personality and stuff. Like, no, everyone bland except you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must do all the personality. Yeah, uh, and I, I read that he actually wanted to be a good guy as well. Uh, oh, yeah, really? yeah. He watched, he wanted to be one of the faces rather than the heel, so to speak. So. That's oh. weird. I mean, you always said to me, you know, you show any kind of character development and you will be killed. Yeah, that yeah. seems to be sort of <laughs> what you kind of get from it. And he came back for the so. Sky series as well, didn't he? Yeah, that did one. He? Yeah, I didn't know there was a Sky No, no, series. I didn't. Yeah, oh. Sky did do Gladiators again, and I think they got. Oh, did they get this John Anderson, the Scottish guy as well? Contender. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Gladiator, <laughs> ready. Yeah, yeah. it's the dream job. Right. Surprised he's still alive. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think thought he was old at the time. I think he's from like uh, Australia. Or I think he's back in New Zealand or Australia now, and I think he's just like uh, working in a gym or something like that. You know wow. the most important fact about Wolf from Gladiators? He's actually a unicorn. Nearly. Um, he's on the cover of. Oh, it was a video game. Yeah, Barbarian. Yes, yes, absolutely. And Barbarian oh. too, technically. But Is he on Barbarian yeah. too? Yes. You ever played Barbarian? I have not, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the novice. Yeah, that's yeah. the only game. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm hoping that's a reference to the game, not yeah, just yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's it's literally, yeah. yeah. Cut Kept Barry's hand, though. He's got off again. <laughs> this is where we cut to black again. <laughs> yeah. you, yeah. Cut, you cut his head off and then you kick, kick the head yeah, off. The goblin comes The green goblin, yeah. yeah. Not frogs. Uh, t- turtles. No. Not trained turtles. That would be a video yes. game I would play. It is good. It's a proper yeah. old school Amiga game. Uh, we played it on the like stream, didn't we? So we yeah. did, yes. Yeah. I should right. find this just to demonstrate. Well, Stuart does that. Have you ever been on a local newspaper? My right shoulder has. <laughs> <laughs> what? We told you we're only interested in left shoulders on this show. <laughs> oh, I'll leave then. Um, no, it was. It? My right shoulder. <laughs> the reason I say it like that is because it's a very uninteresting story. So that's, that's the right. only way I can sell it. Okay. Is basically we had some uh, life-saving equipment at work. We'd had we'd funded to have this defibrillator in. Yeah. And the local paper came to do a piece on it as we were the first supermarket in the I think in the either the local area to have one. Yeah. So they was taking pictures of us doing the training of it, and of course my they managed to get my right shoulder in there somehow, and that's it. <laughs> That's Do you ever get spotted because of that? Though? My shoulder does, yeah. He, oh, my God. Yeah. He, he's very arrogant. Yeah. And he's, um, <laughs> he's got a real chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Hey. That barely even counted as a pun. Fish my and God. chips. So, yeah. Just going to demonstrate the uh, lovely locks of Wolf there. Oh, yeah. We'll put it on the screen the if you uh, oh, right. can't see. Who is the lady on the left? That looks like Falcon. That's Maria Whittaker. Maria Whittaker. Really? Why mm. should I know that name? She was like a big page three model in the eighties. Was she? Mm. Oh, right. I just like porn. Do you? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <Harry. laughs> I don't. I don't really know page three. <laughs> There's another oh, side we shouldn't Whittaker. go to. Yeah, let's get like uh, flashbacks to Hercules, that the old uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger film. It was oh a bit God. like the Barbarian, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that? yeah. And absolutely. it was basically a game on that, and you just had two guys, and you could roll and spin and. Just cut, cut heads off, his heads it? off. Yeah. yeah, it was all right it, oh, yeah, for an Amiga good. game. Like, back in the day, it was quite fun and playable. And mm. yeah, so we played each other on a live stream, didn't we? Yeah. When I was at your house in Norwich. Did you win? I can't remember. I can't remember. I think you probably did. I don't know. I loved it. Mm. It was great. Just yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. just the one sound yeah. file I yeah. had on the entire game. You're not far yeah. off, actually. No, <laughs> basically, it. Um, what's the most embarrassing situation you've ever been in? Oh, well, um, most embarrassing situation, I suppose, apart from running into The Undertaker in a bathroom, yeah. would probably be trying to get into someone else's hotel room. Oh, nice. For yeah. a murder? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Several, actually, yeah. yeah. And it's not like I just tried it once. I tried my key card in someone else's hotel room five or six times until he opened the door in his pants. <laughs> The and <laughs> yeah, and basically, my oh. the friend I was with, yeah, like, you have succeeded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not selling you anything, obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I was with a friend and we just met up, and I was going to my hotel room, and he told me three times Hang it was on, the wrong. You were with floor. a friend and you just met up. Come on. Yeah. Spill the Which one is it? Come on. <laughs> Female okay. friend. Let me rephrase. <laughs> I just met with a friend and then went to my hotel room to oh, pick some okay. stuff up. That's, oh, you know, okay. Context is key in this yeah, case. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of key, and he told me we were on the wrong floor. It wasn't the Undertaker, just... was it? It was. <laughs> Undertaker in his pants is a very strange... <laughs> no, Barry, it was Mr. T. Pay attention. <laughs> just both of them, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's a hell of a stable. Yeah, it was, yeah. That's your stable right there. 
guy in his pants. I was all Mr. T and Undertaker there. And Someone like, isn't stable as a result of that. <laughs> I think. But yeah, and I just tried my key card on the door five times. My friend was telling me, Dave, this is the wrong floor. Completely ignored him for some reason. Tries to, so he, this bald guy opens the door in his pants. <laughs> and I was like, in my head, I was thinking, why is he in my hotel room? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it, rather, I'm not, I'm at the wrong yeah. floor. And then I realized, <laughs> oh, his wife's there. I don't remember having his <laughs> wife in my hotel room. So wow. then the penny drops and I just kind of eh, eh, slinked away very quickly. Oh, God. Was he wearing your pants? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. You never yeah. know. Look, I didn't focus on the pants so much. <laughs> I was more worried about the... Well, that was your yeah. mistake, you see. You'll know for next time. I yeah. should have done, yeah, because I make a habit of doing such things. Wow. Yeah. You found your room in the end, though? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. I love hotel rooms. They're nice. <laughs> you clearly haven't stayed in a travel lodge recently. I haven't, no. It was know. a travel lodge as well, yeah. funnily enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah travel lodges aren't as bad as they used to be. No, that's true. No. They're not as bad as they used to be. No, the, the bigger ones anyway. The smaller ones are still dives. Mm. Like I've stayed in ones before where the shower head had fallen off. Oh. Instance, yeah, I mean, literally nice. opened the door and the shower head fell off, cracked the uh, the bathroom. Well, the, not bathroom sink. That would have to fly all over the room. <laughs> Hey, the bath happen. itself, yeah, it could do. <laughs> the Undertaker's around. Supernatural <laughs> things do happen. When I last but, came yeah. to Stuart's film, and I stayed in a really cheap hotel because it was really expensive mm. that night for some reason. I stayed in a really horrendous one, and there was a man next to me in the night, in really thin walls, oh, just God. screaming all night. Was like, oh! Oh. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just I was constant. Curious. I was like, "Is there a the... reason for the screaming?" I don't know. Maybe he's just, <laughs> just fangirling over something, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just could have been really do excited. You... Well, do you usually have anguished screams when you're fanning gut? Oh, fan anguished screams, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Every time like, you go to the supermarket, like, anguished screams, yeah. Oh, God, it's Keemstar. <laughs> yeah, quite the same really thing. really thin walls. I don't want to stay on a boat as well. That's another, I can't Oh, yeah, I've that done story. that a few times. Have you? Did you stay in the one in LA? Um, the, the Queen Mary? No, no. Oh. This is one over to Amsterdam. Different story. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah. I, yeah, I stayed on yeah. a boat. Very thin walls. I can't talk about it because I'll get in trouble, but it's wow. a funny story. Uh, that, that wailing bloke is say, weird, though. You did play me a small sound recording. Yeah. Like, this guy was really... Yeah. It was like almost orchestral. Was he throat singing or something? Yeah. All Just, night as yeah. well. It was really sounded genuinely like he was in distress. Wow. Yeah, it was... You could have knocked on the door, asked if he was okay, and gone on it's, an adventure. It's good because he kind of sued me to sleep, and then it was my alarm clock. It kind of works. <laughs> like, uh, should have joined him for Thank a Thank you for your pain. Yeah. Just Isn't like, that how Barton Fink starts? He's... Who the hell oh, is that? Oh, no, that's a Get cream for that as well. Yeah. Barton Fink. <laughs> it's um, John Totoro, are they? And he's in a hotel room. No, it's John Goodman is laughing next door. Not oh, Bailey. right. Oh, well. Yeah. Mess that one up. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, all I can say about the boat thing is the walls were so thin because the built, boat was built. This is like Titanic's younger brother or sister boat, the Queen Mary. It used to go across wow. the Atlantic. Yeah. Yeah. Winston Churchill went on it. There's a thing that's haunted and there was, a, there was a party or two on there and I heard very intimate sounds. <laughs> oh, all night long. <laughs> it's just horrendous. <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah. Like and that. your mind was still ASMR. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was telling that me. I can no. imagine. Well, <laughs> the, gen wow. <laughs> the gentle quivering of a male. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. Quivering is the wrong word to use, Barry. Like, I would say in that one. <laughs> like that. That's the, the ASMR portion <laughs> of the. Uh, sure, it was a bird of some type. <laughs> Could you quiver? <laughs> what? Barry. Can you quiver? Barry, Usually you in fear away that. from you, I like, would say. Huh? Like this like that feeling. There you go. Can you quiver? What the fuck are you talking about, Barry? I don't know what a quiver is. What? Like, is that, you I'm quiver gonna, when, when you're scared. scared. Where do you keep arrows? We've been thinking what? of quavers, yeah. crisps. <laughs> I don't know. Or a quaver. Quaver. Yeah, they were just, just eating milk quavers. or something. <laughs> just <laughs> eating crisps. That was it. That was all it was. All right. Do you want to pimp yourself out a little bit? Anywhere we can find you? Uh, basically, Twitter's the only one I tend to use now. It's, and uh, bathrooms with the Undertaker. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I'd rather surprise people with that. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just at Dave DJ Johnson on Twitter. Nice and one. that's it. As well as I'm on the communities of NerdSync, Eckhart's Ladder, and you know, that's, that's, pretty, that's the big ones. Awesome. So, all right. So if you want to put any abusive comments on there, you yeah. will know. Yeah, don't bother. This, yeah, yeah, this, this straight off. Yeah. yeah, because it will get blacklisted immediately. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. man. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Bullshit.